Hey gamers, Tony back again from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast and today I'm excited to do another Nintendo Switch accessory review. Today I am taking a look at the Power A accessory, the Joy-Con Charging Dock. Now I've been really excited about this uh, accessory from Power A, so thanks to the team over at Power A for sending this to me for review. Uh, what I'm excited about is my family is a big Mario Kart family. We've played it on every one of Nintendo systems. Um, when I, my wife and I started having kids, our kids got into Mario Kart, and um, I actually picked up four Joy-Con for the re-release of Mario Kart 8 on the Nintendo Switch. And Nintendo did not do a very good job of showing you when the Joy-Cons are charged and all those other things. And it, it just seems a little bit more difficult than it should be. So I've been real excited to check out this dock from Power A. It promises to charge a four Joy-Con at once. It gives individual LED indicators, which is what I want for my kids to be able to see when these are charged. Uh, supposedly it easily slides in and slides out so we'll take a look at that in this review and it's also powered via USB so let's go ahead and get this out of the box see everything that comes in it and plug the Joy-Con in and see how it does here we go alright so I've got the power a Joy-Con charging dock out of the box and this is literally everything it comes with obviously minus the four Joy-Con controllers so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, the instruction manual, and I love the simplicity of the manual. It's got easy to see pictures, um, instructions on how to put the Joy-Con chargers into the dock, and simply two LED indicators. Red mean it's charging, green mean it's fully charged. Super simple. So great job Power A on the simple instructions. Obviously got my Joy-Con here. So I'm going to slide up and out of the way a little bit so we can actually take a look at the charging dock. Now, the first thing I love about this is it's branded Nintendo Switch. It just looks really nice. It matches the type of plastic that the Nintendo Switch dock is made out of. So if you're looking for consistency or how nice it looks with your entertainment system, look no further than this. It actually looks great. You can see where the Switch uh, controllers can slide down into the dock. The back is pretty plain and simple, and I'm going to talk about this notch here in a moment, and then obviously for the two other Joy-Con. Now when we look at the top of the device, you'll see the LED indicator lights, as well as the uh, left and right instructions for the Joy-Con dock. You'll notice two of them face, it even has thumbstick illustrations, two of them face this way thumbsticks, two of them face that way thumbsticks, and they fit in there nice and neat. So, I want to talk about the cord for a minute. I love, 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 love that Power A did not choose to put in a cord that you had to plug in and run another power cable, but instead they added it to the consistency of the Joy-Con, or I'm sorry, of the Nintendo Switch. So, when you pull it out of the box, the cord is wrapped nice and neatly in here, and it is attached, so just be careful when you're taking it off. It does have nice little rubber feet, so it stays in place. And like I said, it's heavy, um, and it's not going to go anywhere, which I really appreciate because I have little kids that are always uh, messing with the game system stuff. Uh, and, you know, my older kids can now be taught how to use this kind of stuff. My younger ones don't know yet. So here's what I love about this little notch on the back. The cord comes with this little, um, I, I like to call it a safety notch because it locks into place right here. I mean, you really have to push it into place. get it oriented the right way. You pop it in and it locks into place. And it does two things. It makes it flat so you can actually set this up without any rock to it. Then the other thing that it does is it pr protects this part of the cord that's built in with no breakaway. So that if this gets knocked off or the cord gets yanked, it's got a base right here um, to protect it from ripping out of the actual dock. So I'm really happy with that. And then what the other thing that I like is it's a USB port that plugs directly into the USB port on the Nintendo Switch um, dock, which is amazing because that means I can just have it consistently beside each other near the TV and I don't have to run another power cord and figure out another place to plug this in. So great job Power A on the design of this device. Very, very happy with it. So let's go ahead and see how easy it is to slide our Joy-Con in and out of it. So 
I'm going to line up to make sure my thumbsticks are facing out. Super easy. Love that. And I love that they don't lock, so you don't have to hit the buttons. They lock down, but with just an easy push up, you can get them out in and easy. So I think that's great, especially when I have little kids grabbing these to play Mario Kart. And then the other two are just going to simply go in facing out. I am super happy with that. That looks amazing. Look at that. The only thing I would have added was a Switch logo on the other side too, but obviously this face is the back, so not meant for that. So this looks amazing. It feels super nice and sturdy. You can even bump it and it levels back out. Really happy with that. So let's plug it into the Switch and see how well the LED indicators work. All right, so I've got it hooked up. I've got a little bit of a unique setup here because uh, I've got a hide it mount for my Nintendo Switch dock right here. So it's actually mounted onto the wall, which I love. By the way, check out our video on that if you haven't yet. Um, and then the cord just simply goes out of the middle. I actually have it put behind the TV here. Uh, but I'm super happy. You can see as soon as I plugged it in, all four LED lights showed up red. Um, I could not be happier with this. I think this is probably going to be my favorite Nintendo Switch accessory. I think Powerade knocked it out of the ballpark with this one because of the high quality device that it is. Um, I'm going to highly recommend this in this review. Keeps your Joy-Cons charged, easy indicators, high quality material, and it fits with the consistency of the Nintendo Switch system and the way that it's already built. So super happy with the Powerade Joy-Con charging dock. Uh, click the link in the description below to order one for yourself. Also, right about now, you should see a Classic Elite logo on the left-hand side of your screen. Please click that to subscribe and share this video with friends. And on the right-hand side of the screen, click the video link to see another video, uh, another Nintendo Switch accessory review. Hope you have a great day. This has been Tony with Classic Elite. Talk to you later.